So have we got anyone back this week? Uh, no, not not quite. We've got a, a lot of guys back into full training. So um, you know, being the short week, we're only we're only training twice this week with a short turnaround from the London game. So um, we'll give them an extra extra few sessions to get to get back with the team, and uh, we should have quite a few back for the Cats game. Who could be the next one back? Uh, well, next week, you know, we're looking at we're still looking at Clough, Ferguson, um, Jake Wardle, um, Aaron Murphy. All those guys should be in full training by the end of this week and, and ready to go next week. So. Um, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. It's, it's been a tough couple of. It's been a tough period, but um, you know the troops are coming back now, which is pleasing. You could have a selection headache next week, couldn't you? Well, that'd be nice. <laughs> headache and who to pick on, as opposed to um, there's no one to pick. It's certainly a better headache to have. So um, you know those guys have worked well in rehab over the last couple of weeks. Murph in particular, he's um, you know he's going to be well ahead of schedule. So um, keeps telling me he heals quick, and um, he he's, he's proved it this time. He does. Um, what's back-to-back wins done for the group? Oh yeah, look, I think you know, obviously they're um, buzzing at the moment. We, you know, there's quite a few, well, a couple of teams have gone down to London expecting to win and come back with nothing. So we knew, we knew we had to play well. And I think the first 30 minutes, from a defensive point of view, we were, we were really, really good. Uh, particularly our middles, um, and did a fantastic job. Um, London coming out of their own end, they found that very hard because our middles, mid- middles were fantastic. So. Um, you know, I know it got a little bit hairy early in the second half where they scored and scored just before <coughs> half time and, and they were the first to score after. But um, the pleasing thing for me was we were able to find a way to wrestle the momentum back in our favour, and that's not something we've been great at in the first part of the competition. So it was pleasing. I think the scoreline, you know, probably flattered London a bit. I thought we were, we were more dominant than the scoreline suggested, but, um, you know, very happy with the win. 80 points scored in two games. Does that tell its own tale? Yeah, look, our tax was always going to improve. I mean, I've said it a number of times, losing Gasky for three games early in the year, you know, upset, you know, our combination and our um, continuity, I guess, with the football. And uh, it was always going to take a little bit of time with him and Frawls. And now that we've had them together and, and Garns at fullback, um, Cruz has been good all year. So, um, you know, our spine's been able to get some footy together. And I think, you know, I always thought we would improve as we went. And um, that's certainly been the case. What challenge sorts of challenge are you going to get from Wakefield? Oh, look, they're a big side. They're hard to beat at home. You know, obviously, Ruffy's got a fantastic kicking game. He's putting teams under a lot of pressure at the moment. So, you know, you know Fafita is a handful. Paul is a handful. So, um, you know, um, so they're, they're going to present all sorts of challenges for us. But uh, I think, um, you know, if we, we can bottle the intent and the mindset we had with our D last week, um, you know, and the week before, for, for that matter, and, and against Wigan a couple of weeks before that, I think, you know, our D's heading in the right direction as well. I know London scored 22 points on the weekend, but you know, a couple of those tries, you know, you know, we, we you know, we were just careless, really. Um, you know, I thought our intent and, and our attitude to our D's been fantastic, and um, that needs to improve, particularly against Wakey. They got a lot of points in them. Um, you know. You know, they were down by 20 odd against Warrington with 15 minutes to go and they nearly stole that game. So they're a team that could score plenty of points. Uh, they've got a lot of offload in them, you know, Paulie and Fafita and those sort of guys. So um, it's uh, certainly going to be a night where we need to roll the, roll the sleeves up and go to work. Was Paulie at Newcastle when you were there? Yeah, he was. Paulie was there when you know, we got him really fit, Paulie. He was, he was, you know, really, really fit and ready to have a good season there in uh, 2018, I think it was. or. Yeah, and he, um, he was involved in a car accident, which put him back with a busted hip. So he's a lot bigger now than he was in Newcastle, but um, he's, a, he's a handful. He's, a, he's definitely a handful of someone we need to be mindful of. Do you look at, with the size with, with him and Fafita, do you look at if we can't go through them, we go around them? Or? Oh, yeah, look, we'll have a plan. We'll have a plan around, you know, the individuals they've got in their team. I think, you know, last year we come up with a couple of nice plans that worked well against them. Uh, you know, we've obviously had a good look at them already and, and Robbo's, Robbo's got our attack sorted, so I'm sure he's, he's um, going to come up with some things that, you know, we try and you know, exploit. You know, look, every team's got weaknesses in their D and every week we're trying to find them and exploit them and this week will be no different. So um, we'll have a look and see where we think... Um, where we can attack is going to suit us best and where we're going to get some results and we'll go with it. I think it's your first trip there, isn't it? Oh yeah, I went there in the trial, went there in the trial there. We played them in the trial at the start of the year, so nice and cold that night. So <laughs> um, yeah, look, it's one of those grounds, it's um, a good atmosphere, it's obviously a tough place to go and win, but um, 
but um, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a it's another football ground, rugby league ground, and we need to go and play well, and that's what we'll be aiming to do. Going up against Danny Brough for the first time, does it take a bit of readjustment without him here? Um, yeah, it was always going to take some adjustment. I think what what um, stalled it a little bit was again having Gasky out, and um, you know, we lost Rankin the week before Gasky got injured. So all of us we went from having and Ollie Russ was out on loan, so. All of a sudden, we went from having plenty of halves to having none for round one, which was disappointing, and that hurt us. Um, but um, I think you'll, everyone will agree that our halves combination is getting better and better every week. So um, you know, our, you know, we've had a couple of really good games over the last month. Our kicking game's been outstanding. I think without Bruffy here, Gaskell's taken more on with the kicking game. Obviously, we've got you know Frawls that does a lot of kicking. Cruz and Ob have jumped in and. And, and done some kicks as well, and, and Jordan Turner occasionally down down that right hand side. As so, we've been able to mix. I think um, we've shared the workload. You know, Ruffy was our main kicker obviously for a long time, and I think um, without him here, we've had to share the workload a bit. We've got that right some weeks, and others we haven't. So, again, it's just something that we'll keep working on. Dan Smith's departure does that give you potential to bring anyone in? Or? No, no, not really. We're full this year, so um, you know, Smith, you know, obviously. Um, was in a in a situation where he, he wasn't getting an opportunity here and you know next year as far as our cap was concerned he probably wasn't someone we were going to be able to re-sign um so you know you know um thankfully um the club were able to come to an agreement with him and he's been been able to go and get opportunity elsewhere so we smig's a fantastic guy and um, we wish him the best and are you in discussions right now with players off contract this year here? Um, yeah, well, look, we've already signed. You know, we don't have a lot off, to be honest. I think Darnell is, is a work in progress. I think Alex Miller is another one that's off contract that we'll be looking to tie up soon. Uh, we've already, obviously, Adam O'Brien's already re-signed. So, um, yeah, look, it's just part and parcel of it. Um, we'll, you know, we'll work through that as, we, as best we can. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Cheers.